This binary tree question has appeared in Google, Meta, and Amazon interviews. So given a binary tree, we turn the length of the longest consecutive sequence path. Now, a consecutive sequence path is a path where the values increase by 1 along the path. So in this case, we have 3, 4, and 5. The path can start at any node inside the tree and can only move downward inside the binary tree. Let's say we're given this binary tree, the longest consecutive sequence contains 3 nodes, so it can return 3. Let's go over the dot process for each of the nodes inside the tree. We can first find the length of the longest consecutive sequence path in the left and right subtrees. Now, if the current node can be added to the path, we will increment the length by 1. And lastly, if the current node cannot be added to the path, we will need to reset the length back to 1. Let's go over the code, create a custom class to keep track of the length of the maximum path, implement the function along this sequence taking the roots of the tree, initialize the maximum path, invoke the helper method, then we can return the length of the maximum path. Now let's go over the helper method taking the node and maximum path. If node is node return 0, recursively find the longest sequence in the left and right subtrees, increment left by 1 if we can append the current node, else reset it back to 1, do the same for the right side, update the length of the maximum path if left or right is greater, return the larger value between left or right.